Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. Yuzu just released their progress update, and it's awesome. Now, as we are going over this progress update at a fairly high level, if you want to read this in detail, I will leave a link in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. Not only is there a ton of information here, it is also a really good read. The very first part of this update might be a tough pill to swallow for some people. Yuzu is officially dropping support for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and early versions of Windows 10 similar to the other Switch emulator Ryujinx, as well as the GameCube and Wii emulator Dolphin. At a really high level here, the Yuzu team didn't drop support for earlier versions of Windows out of any sort of malice, it's because of a couple of main reasons. Number one, Windows 10, at least newer versions of it, offer a few features that are advantageous to the emulator. And number two here, earlier versions of Windows, like Windows 7 and 8 and 8.1, require a ton of workarounds to get things up and running, a ton of development effort, and the Yuzu team just doesn't have the capacity to support it. Now, for those of you who are stuck on an earlier version of Windows for some reason or another, you still have a couple options. Number one, you can stick with mainline version 990. You will miss out on any further improvements, optimizations, or features that the Yuzu team adds, but you will have a relatively stable version of Yuzu working. The second thing you can do here is just dual boot with Linux. I mean, it's simple, it's straightforward, it's easy to do, and it's free. If you have a partition in your main hard drive, you can dual boot it with Linux. If you've got a spare hard drive laying around, install Linux on it. Or if you've even got a USB stick, you can install Linux on that. Yuzu is not a Windows-only program. It is available for Linux, it's easy to install on Linux, and it does work very well on Linux. Moving on from that, Yuzu is now using the Vulkan renderer by default. If you don't have Vulkan available to you on your PC, you don't have to worry. Yuzu will perform a check at startup, and you can change it to something like OpenGL. Switching over from Vulkan to OpenGL is simple and straightforward. On the main screen of Yuzu, click on Emulation, go down to Configure, and from here, click on Graphics, and then you have the option under API to switch from Vulkan to OpenGL. Under OpenGL, there are also three different options, GLASM, GLSL and SPIRV. Now, truth be told here, for Switch emulation, Vulkan is by far the best, hence why it's enabled by default. But if for some reason you can't use Vulkan, OpenGL is still available to you, and GLSL is the recommended shader backend. The other two won't be receiving as much support. Moving on here, and the lens flare for Super Mario Galaxy has been fixed. This is the before, and we can see the edges of the lens flare pretty easily. And here is the after, the edges are gone. Interestingly enough here, for Nintendo Switch Online's Nintendo 64 emulator, if you do have Nvidia, it's recommended to use OpenGL. But if you have AMD, you are free to use Vulkan. For those of you with lower end hardware, Yuzu should be running better on those systems, thanks to HLE improvements. They have optimized Yuzu to some degree for CPUs with lower core and thread counts. This is great news for lower end CPUs, especially those that have two cores and four threads. Yuzu was previously non-viable on it, but now performance has been substantially improved. Moving on from that, and we're talking about controllers. There's a bunch of different controllers you can use on your PC with Yuzu, and some of them work better than others. I would say, uh, lower quality controllers or slower controllers can introduce some issues, especially dealing with vibrations. And it appears that Yuzu has largely fixed those issues. If you want to learn more about the vibration issue, check out the article. There's a link here right to the fix of it. But at a really high level here, Yuzu used to wait until they heard back from the controller after sending a vibration signal. If your controller was slow, it could cause stuttering and Yuzu could hang. The ending part about Yuzu's update is extremely promising. They let us know that Project YFC is making great progress and is on track to release soon. And if you don't know what Project YFC is, it's an overhaul of various parts of their GPU emulation, fixing many inaccuracies and improving both performance and compatibility. This is going to be huge. And in addition to that, they've teased some possible surprises here from MADE. 
And on top of all of that, Project Gaia will still be taking a bit, but it's still in progress. Speaking about progress, here's a quick update for those of you really curious about Skyline, Nintendo Switch emulation on Android. Burnout Paradise is booting, not playable, but booting. Borderlands is now booting, not playable, but booting. Chante is kind of playable at super speed. Attack on Titan isn't playable just yet, but it does get in game. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, Hall stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below, and we did talk about quite a bit. Whether it's about Yuzu or the Skyline Progress, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.